Passengers have deserted public transport and without fares, TfL is reliant on government money. Today it outlined how it would become self-sufficient long term. One proposal, charge vehicles up to £5.50 a day to drive into the greater London area. A boundary charge. Would a boundary charge be fair, do you think, to people who work in London? Well, I think that's one of the things we need to have a look at. We'd need to look at the impact, for example, of, of our own uh, employees, critical workers who are coming in to uh, do their jobs in London but who don't live within the London boundary. The boundary charge would raise £500 million a year. As well as that, there would be more savings, at least £730 million, and cuts to bus and tube services. TfL could also become more commercial and borrow more to build 50,000 homes. I would certainly, as the Commissioner, not support any mass cuts to or substantial cuts to the service. But having said that, you know, the world is changing. We, we don't know what's going to happen with uh, ridership going forward as a result of COVID. I don't think it's unreasonable that we should look at tweaks in the future. TfL also wants £1.6 billion a year from government for infrastructure projects. How important is it then for London to have that long-term investment in infrastructure if we don't know what's going to happen to passenger numbers? Well, I, I think you need to take the long-term view. We are saying £1.6 billion a year up to 2030 actually makes sense. You've got to continue to invest because the alternative uh, is that you see a slow but steady and relentless decline in service reliability and in quality uh, that you will um, come to uh, repent at leisure. Transport bosses also say they'll need £3 billion next year. How TfL is funded will be discussed now with central government, but big changes could be ahead. Tom Edwards, BBC London.